Last time on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we unlocked Auto Level 5 and provided you all the details to do it yourself. Today I have updated my upgrade order and let me show you how the 6 builder changes everything. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back for episode 87 of the Town Hall 11 Free to Play series. Yesterday we obtained the 6 builder, but you can see that he has still not been put down. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I got a little carried away with the edit on the last episode. It was a very important video. I mean, a guide on how to obtain the 6 builder has got to be a good video because there's a lot of players out there that just don't know how to do it, and we want to make sure that we provide them all the tools to gain success that we've been able to have in the game, right? Now, some of you did say in the comments in the last episode that you've had this six builder for a couple of months so today's episode we're going to talk about how it changes and how it speeds things up i'm going to provide you all the changes that i made to my upgrade priority listing at the end of the video but we've got to put that builder down beforehand which leads us into the question of the day we have a tweet here from sharma that says whenever you change an army you say it's an amazing army <laughs> that's actually true Tell us your favorite army in Town Hall 11 and the best army. All right, so uh, favorite army would definitely be the Queen Walk Minor Attack, and you can use this one for farming. You can use it for trophy pushing for a little while, and you can also use it in Clan War if you choose to do it, but I don't necessarily trust it in Clan War. The one mechanic of this army that is really Clan War related is the Queen Walking. A lot of players out there still don't know how to Queen Walk, and so I like to incorporate it into the miners when I farm because I can stay fresh on my queen walking skills it's just a matter of how much i play versus how much you play there's a lot of better farming armies out there like mass baby dragons mass sneaky goblins but i choose to do this one because you can take down bases steal all of their resources and you can do some slight trophy pushing it as well and get some practice in for your clan war attacks now for the back half of that tweet when he referenced the best army you will never hear me say that there is a best army because realistically every single army that we see here on youtube is it's normally in the hands of a really good player. Let's think about this. Reference every single video out there that you enjoy watching and the strategy that you love the most. And look at how those players played on the types of bases they hit. Let's take, for example, lightning spells on the clan castle. That is a very popular strategy right now, but is it really something that the developer wants in the game? There's always a possibility of these things changing, and so I will never say that this is necessarily the best army right now because it could possibly change in the future i tend to use armies that i use myself and then i project to you saying whether it's a good army or not i will never show somebody else's replay and say oh my goodness this is the most best army in the world you should use it without trying it myself i hope that makes sense now if you have a question of your own go over on twitter and tag me over there and hashtag question of the day all right so we just found this incredibly rushed base check this out guys <laughs> seen this and i was just like wow now that's a town hall 11 right there <laughs> i'm telling you how often do you find stuff like this out in global raids i mean i find them quite often so we're gonna go ahead and take this one down with our queen walk minor army and we're gonna go ahead and steal the resources we need to get an air defense down and get moving on that six builder i mean we worked so hard to get him and we're not even using him that doesn't make any sense right so <laughs> we gotta put that dude down immediately get him to work man he's been slacking this whole time in the last 24 hours all right so we got that wall wrecker moving in we're gonna go ahead and freeze that uh single target for a moment and we're gonna crack directly to the core of this base here comes an electro dragon i mean are you kidding me right now right i mean are you serious with this we have a very rushed base and he just so happens to have an electro dragon in the clan castle i mean come on man all right so let's go ahead and get our miners down and move them into the base that electro dragon not a big deal let's go ahead and rage up our queen and get rid of him he's not a big threat at all he's <laughs> Watch this, dude. The queen's about to pop that electro dragon. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Calm down there, balloon. You better get out of my face now, fool. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get a heal spell down for our miners as they move through the base. Now, in the last episode, there were a couple of comments down there saying something along the lines requesting what I was going to do on the builder's hall side now that I have finished the push for the sixth builder. Guys, I think I'm going to probably just kind of take it casually. I'm not really stressing the sixth or the, the builder's hall side too much. I mean, 
Me personally, I'm not a big fan of it. Like I get very bored very fast on the Builders Hall side. And also with the Builders Hall side, there hasn't really been any indication from Supercell that they're gonna put any investment into it. I mean, they dropped it in 2016. 2016 is when the, uh, the Builders Hall was established and they had eight levels from the start. And, or no, they started out with six, then they introduced seven, and then they introduced eight. I saw eight from the very beginning, but they didn't release all of them at the same time. Now last year they dropped builders hall nine but i mean that's almost like a three-year difference so it doesn't really say that they're doing anything special there and it doesn't really tell me that i should have a major investment on it so that's just my feelings behind it what about you guys do you love the builders hall let us know down in the comments below how you feel about builders hall guys and we have ourselves a nice little town hall 12 here with a ton of resources now the deal here is that we got three of the inferno towers that we got to worry about now the key to the queen walk minor attack is ideally checking the clan castle and also eliminating the eagle artillery you, you should be successful with the miners after that but we also got to make sure that we maneuver our queen in the right areas and she tends to steer off and do whatever she wants to do now we're going to go ahead and use a rage spell to try to help her out and push her towards the left side let's go ahead and drop baby dragon right there and let's go ahead and drop our wall wrecker to open up this compartment now we want to try to get our troops into this area and try to eliminate that eagle as well as checking the clan castle you see how we got something in there right now all right let's go ahead and freeze that single target and give these troops some time give the wall wrecker a time to get in there let's go ahead and drop another rage spell on our queen and it looks like our wall wrecker is going to die but there are some valkyries inside as well as a yeti so let's go ahead and rage them up get rid of that single target looks like they're going to go after the queen and they might up oh, there goes the eagle all right so the eagle's down we can start working our miners in so let's move the miners in and drop that uh, grand warden with them and you'll see how everything just kind of works out see how the uh, yeti mice just took out the single target over there it works out great right all right, so let's go ahead and get a heal spell down right here for our troops, and we can save our Grand Warden's ability now that we don't have to worry about the Eagle Artillery. Looks like the Queen's going to work her way into the area where we have the Town Hall, which is also activated right there. Let's go ahead and use that Grand Warden's ability to protect our Miners, drop a heal spell on the backside over here, because that's where the Miners are going, and it looks like the Queen... Oh my gosh! <laughs> My healers are taking a beating over there, boys. Oh my god, <laughs> that's crazy. But realistically, this army is just super easy to use if you understand how it works. You use the queen to take out the clan castle troops, take out the eagle artillery if they're you know near each other, and then you use the miners after the eagle artillery falls. Let's go ahead and get a heal spell down right here, and we can use our queen's ability to try to help our miners out and speed them up a little bit. This base fell very easily, though. I mean, everything was just grouped up in the center. That's never really a good thing for base development or base building when you put all the heavyweight defenses together. It just never works out, especially against really advanced attackers like yourselves. I'm not an advanced attacker. You guys are the advanced attackers here. <laughs> all right, so here goes our miners. They're going to finish up, and they're going to steal the rest of the resources that we need to put our six builder down for upgrade on an air defense. I think we needed 7.5 million gold to get this job done. We're worked our way into defenses all we have left is one more level on our barbarian king we have a few pieces of wall remaining and everything from here on out is defenses which you guys know how defenses go it gets really really fast because gold is so easy to steal so let's see what we got going on here we got an air defense right there for 7.5 we have one builder we will have another builder in another seven hours which we're going to have to reference our upgrade priority listing and the laboratory we have a day remaining so I need to hold off on the laboratory because I need to use a hammer in there and then I also need to spend some dark elixir in there. So I think we're gonna go ahead and burn off some of our elixir and I'm running out of places to burn off resources. I'm almost done with walls, guys. I mean, this is, I mean, it's just one of those things. You can't predict it, you can't slow it down. When you have a lot of resources coming into your base and you dump it into walls, you just tend to finish them. But again, it depends on how often you play. So we're gonna go ahead and swing it one more time and get those finished. And we're gonna go ahead and put the sixth builder down for upgrade for another 10. 10 days oh my gosh that's all of our resources let me retrain this army and we're going to jump over to the clash ninja website that way i can show you the changes to our upgrade priority listing so we're going to go ahead and finish up the video on the Clash Ninja website. This is a phenomenal tool to use to track the progress of your bases, whether it's your home village or your builder's hall site. It can give you a really good idea on how much longer you have available or how much work you have to do to finish tasks. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at our upgrade priority listing. But first, I want to show you how to send the six builder from the builder's hall side over to the home village on this website because it's not automatic. 
So we have to go into the Builders Hall 9 right here, select that option right there, and you're gonna see this little button right here that says Master Builder Home Village. If you do not have the six builder unlocked, this will not be available. So you need to make sure that you go into your army tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're gonna see this option for the auto hut. You need to make sure that you upgrade it five times and get this green check mark. And then when you come back up here, you should be able to select this option, and it will say that the master builder is currently in the home village the master builder is busy he must be idle to travel between villages so this means that i've already put it down for upgrade on the other side so you will have to select this option in order to send him from the builder's hall side to the home village which we've already done so we're going to go ahead and back out and jump over to the joe version 6 account and we're going to take a look at this village right here and we're going to be working out of the builders tab but you're going to notice that we have 77 percent completed on our structures 75 percent completed in the laboratory 98 percent completed on heroes and 99.4 percent completed on our walls so we're almost finished with walls we're almost out of places to dump our resources which is quite unfortunate so we're going to select this builders tab and you can always plan out your upgrades and take a look at everything laid out in front of you that way you know where to send that builder the fastest way to play free to play minus the collection of magic items from the clan games or special events is to make sure that you keep your builders down for upgrade at all times the longer you tend to forget to do that the more time you're going to be at a town hall level trust me i've been there guys i spent year I, I think i spent like a year at town hall 10 when i first started playing this game but that was just me because i didn't know any better all right so we have all these items listed in this tracker we're looking at it from a one month view we've already put the six builder down for upgrade on that air defense that we just did a moment ago and I want you to see that we're really down on the downward slope when it comes to our upgrades. We've already finished our queen, our grand warden, our eagle artillery is done. We've already finished our expos, our wizard towers. We're almost done, guys. All the long upgrades are almost finished. So we're working on our air defenses, which are 10 days apiece. And we're also squeezing in the barbarian king here and the barbarian king right here. And then you also see that we're working on our air sweepers. We got to take them up to level seven. And then we also need to work our way into the hidden teslas and then from then on out it's all archer towers cannons mortars and bomb towers that's it guys i mean we have to do two levels on the archer tower and the cannon and then two levels on the mortar and i think two levels on the bomb tower right let me oh, i didn't mean to click that let me go ahead and scroll down here and take a look we got mortar level nine mortar level 10 and then we have bomb tower where is my bomb tower so we got bomb tower hiding in here somewhere there it is bomb tower level five and then bomb tower level six so i mean realistically it's just going to be tied up with finishing up these double upgrades but i mean we got about let's see here let's go back up to the top and let's take a look at the stats and let's see we got two months seven days and 19 hours remaining the fifth builder option has been removed since we have the uh, you know the sixth builder on this side we still got four months in the laboratory but we're going to do our best to close the gap here with the hammers that we obtain in the future clan war leagues but i mean it's all free to play we got to do the best that we can do now one more thing that i want to mention about the builders here i think right here in this time frame i'm gonna have to make sure that i slow things down a little bit myself you don't have to do this but because I've already completed my walls, or I'm so close to completing my walls, when the season bank pays out right here, we're going to need to make sure that we have a builder available and then also make sure that we have a couple of defenses that are not being upgraded. That way we can, uh, you know, spend off the resources from the season bank because it just sucks to have resources stockpiled and nowhere to spend it. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And then right here around the third, I think we're going on a trip, guys. We're going to see one of our favorite YouTubers. <laughs> you're gonna have to stay tuned for that one guys it's gonna get pretty crazy all right so we're gonna go ahead and jump back over to the home village and from here i'm just gonna go ahead and get back to farming because we have a builder coming available in the next six hours and then i need to put down an air sweeper and we're just gonna keep it going guys we got to keep it going now be advised that once that barbarian king is finished to level 50 we're gonna start doing a little bit more clan wars to try to pass the time and start working with a couple of different armies that way we could try to finish this out the point of this entire series is not really for me 
me, guys. I've already got a Max Town Hall 13. The point of this is playing every single day to try to help some of you guys out advance in the game. The point of all of this is that Clash of Clans itself is not slowing down. We know that in the future we're going to have more Town Hall levels, more Siege Machines, more Troops, more whatever. And we got to make sure that we try to help you guys get to the top. That way you're not spending years at a Town Hall level and burning yourselves out. That is the quickest way to lose interest in the game is getting burnt out because you don't know where to turn next. You don't know how to play the game. You don't understand the strategies. You don't know what to upgrade next. So that's the point of all of these videos is that some are really exciting and some are a little dry, but there's a lot of information that does not get discussed in a lot of videos, especially those ones that are saying best army ever. Well, that's really great, but how do I get to the best army, right? So hopefully you were able to get something out of today's video. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And if you like watching us every single day, turn on those notifications. If you need any additional video support or you want to see this account from the very beginning, click one of those links over there. And we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.